Welcome back to Satisfactory Update 6. My name is Nilaus and we are going to make a power plant. And it's going to be a big, beautiful power plant, but it's also going to be an extremely simple one to make that will be uh, very easy to get all of your power needs. So why do we need to make a power plant at this point? Well, let's look at the power situation right now. We're producing 9,000-ish and we're consuming six and a half, seven maybe. But the thing is, uh, we still have the problem with our... Coal power plant, 2,400 of these will disappear as soon as I go away from this base. That means I basically have exactly what I need. And uh, that means I can't do any any new things, any new massive builds before we actually take care of our uh, of our power needs. So let's uh, do that. Someone has uh, been gracious enough to indicate it on the map. So let's just hitch a ride on this hypertube going all the way down. And uh, while we are going, we can talk about where we are uh, what we're going to set up. So I want to set up a diluted fuel power plant because I think that is an, it's a, it's a good balance between efficiency and, or effectiveness and also ease of setup. There are several different ways you can do like a normal fuel power, fuel power plant, but it it has a lot of byproducts and you don't really get the maximum out of it. You can make a turbo fuel, but the Turbo fuel is going to take a lot of sulfur and coal and on top of that, which makes it really cumbersome to build it at the, well, basically at any stage. And it it's just means there's a lot of logistics before you can even get started on building anything. So instead, what I've done is go to here. This is all of these. Look how many coal power plants there are. So what if we pretend out here that we have a location? I'm going to make a little square here that we can start building on and what we can then do is uh, potentially we can take in this case we can take a impure a impure and a normal that will give us a total of 600 if we overclock it so 600 that's going to be our measure 600 oil coming in we're going to get, going to make as much power as we can using diluted fuel and that's going to add up to 20,000 megawatt of power that's pretty nice so what we're going to do is figure out how exactly are we going to do that we're going to go through uh, the initial build and then we're going to take a look at it from here. The first thing we need to do is get the crude oil converted into heavy oil residue because the heavy oil residue this is how we make fuel. So we get crude oil to heavy oil residue, we get the polymer resin. You can do whatever you want with the polymer resin. You can turn it into fabric, you can turn it into rubber, you can turn it into plastic and uh, then you're probably going to vent it or sink it but I'm, I don't care so I'm just going to take the polymer resin and sink it. I don't have a need for it. You can do that. This is a power plant, so I don't want it to be confused to also be relying on this to generate other things. So uh, I'm just going to sink all the polymerism and forget that this even existed. So we get the crude oil to heavy oil residue. And uh, once we have the heavy oil residue, then that is the time when we get our blender in action. Now that we have unlocked a bit of aluminium, we did that last time, we can now make a bit of, a, a bit of this recipe here. This recipe can also be made without the blender but then you have to package and unpackage this is the package that do the fuel which means more steps and i just if you can make it uh, like this do it this way this takes heavy 50 heavy oil residue plus water and gets twice as much water so basically what the the recipe here is we are now getting if we just scale this down to 80 percent so that it would match this one uh, then we get 30 oil becomes uh 80 fuel that's pretty damn good and 80 fuel can then be used to make some power in a fuel power plant. And each of these consume eight, uh, 12 per second, 12 uh, fuel per second. So if we just look at, uh, there we go, let's go, let's go up here and float. If we look at it from this perspective, just look at it only from here, then that will be 80% of this. So let's go 80 out. And if we do 80 divided by 12, that means 6.66. And each of those will be 1500 that means for every for every 30 crude oil in i get one gigawatt of power and since we can get from this line down here let's scan it and uh, then we can get up to 600 so it's uh, multiplied the whole thing by 20 and those are the three right here on the line very easy to get in and we can then get it in basically from this line easily get it in so now we need to figure out i need 20 of these uh this i need less of so i need 16 of these and then i need a modest 133.3 yeah that's uh and 
that is if I built the whole thing. So what I want to do now is I then I have to sort of look at how would I want to make a nice factory? Well, if we want to make a nice factory, the key point usually or the key challenge in, in that regard is for me, a, a beautiful factory is one where you can see the machines. And I want to really make sure that we can see what the machines are. So my idea is that we want to make something yeah, so, so one row here and then the next door will be in and up and in and up. So that it becomes a triangle. You know what? Let's, uh, let's just see if we can, uh, we can get sort of a template going and then uh, we can discuss if we like it. Oh, here it is. This is a, a template build. If we build it like this, just every time we slide it in, build it three tiles up or three foundations up and we can build here. Now this is kind of, uh, not kind of, but it is clipping here. It also has this uh, very, yeah, uh, heavy build here. So what if we try to look at some other build of, uh, of this type? Let's go down here. There must be something we have. Nope, we don't even have that uh, on our hotkey. So let's add a foundation. No, it's not a foundation. It's apparently an architecture thing. A glass foundation. And uh, let's build that here. I can't see which way the, the lines are turned. Definitely turn them this way. And... And let's go in. And the next one. So at this point, it's no longer clipping, and we now have glass floors, which is obviously going to look a lot better, because it gets us, uh, it gets us just uh, allow us to when we are inside the factory. It allows us to just look up and look at what we need, and we're even going to make another row here, and you can see there's still room. This vent goes up, and that will be for our. Let's go like that. So we will now have a row here. We'll have four rows and then four rows on the other side. Each row will take one, since there are eight rows, one eighth of all of this. And that will be when we're going to be making uh, 1600 fuel. So it'll be 200 fuel per row. And that will be 16.3 fuel plants. So I'm going to make 16, point, 16 and two thirds, I think. Let's, see, let's just check it one three three point three two three two divided by eight yeah 16 and two thirds so i need 17 power plants on the row here and that will take 200 fuel in great so the good thing is if we can look at this we actually have room for building this line all the way down here on the inside and if we look at the next one the Blenders are smaller in blueprints, so they, they're like a bit fatter, but uh, l lower. So there's also room for it. So we, can, we can build all of this down here. So what we need to do now is just run back and forth, get a lot of materials to build a lot more of the fuel generators. So we can build it all the way down here. And uh, let's take a look how that's going to be, uh, be set up. Some progress is made, as we can see. We also have a new uh, color. Someone spilled red wine on our factory and it looks nice. And we can see all the way. Look at this. So this is the aesthetic I'm looking for. I want to be able to see my factory from a distance. And I want to see what it does and not just wrap it up in a big uh, square box. Even if you can make like nice accents on those boxes. I want to see my factory. So all the way down here where you can then zoom in on the inside. I'm keeping the power lines down here. And they will then connect upwards. So that's our power which should also give us power to float somewhat in inside here we have the lines on the inside with the uh, with the fuel being produced we have here all of the refineries making heavy oil residue heavy oil residue will go on the outside i will have out here you can see we're starting to work on this the heavy oil residue coming out here uh, and then we'll have the belts on top of it let's see if they have something on the other side we haven't really started on that yet no so heavy oil residue is coming in 
it's coming in on these pipes, going into all the blenders. On top of that, we have all of the water, which we'll get from the other side, luckily, since we're building the whole thing in water. By the way, if you are noticing it looks weird, this, this uh, flooring, that's because the flooring is ever so slightly below the water. So the water is like a centimeter above the tiles. I like that. It gives an interesting marbled look to this. And also it cools the factory by just having a nice layer of floor in here, which is also nice, like a giant power plant. And you just have a right next to all the high wattage electricity. You just have a nice layer of water there. That's that seems appropriate. So we have a, this is only 13 on each row. So we definitely need to add a few more here. We are going to start looking at the design I want to take. So I want to combine two of these. They will generate 200 fuel each. And then the 200 fuel, I'm not going to consolidate too much into pipes because pipe mechanics, they slush around a lot. So if you are going up against the maximum capacity of the pipes, it just tends to not give you the best results. So I'm going to do this 200 in here. 200 goes all the way up to the top and connects and then connects to one side and then the other one the other two these two they will then go up and connect to the side that we haven't built yet and so on and so forth let's uh, take a look at it as we get a bit closer to uh, to completion here and so we're getting further along and we as you can see colors are changing they change uh, once in a while based on the feedback and the the, the activity on the, the twitch streams and uh, as you can see that the, when the build is changing multiple times it's pretty indicated, good indicator that this is a build that takes a while to build. This uh, build has been taking, it, it's an eight hour build. So uh, be prepared for that when you get started, at least for me. Uh, of course, there's also like a design issues and all that stuff. Uh, at this point, we are getting close to the correct setup. We have all of those set up. We have all the pipes set up. The ones we're working on is now the water. And we just realized that I can actually build the water inside. And then have basically because we're building it in water, we can have all of the, the all of the water extractors. These water extractors will be made, set up to be 200 each. So 200, 200. That's 400. They come in here, get on a belt, or in on a pipe, and like this, get on a pipe, and going in here to two of these. No, four of the the first four one, the first four, and then I have another water pipe out here, which will carry another 400 into the next four. So that's uh, it's going to be working. And the way I'm going to do it as well is I'm going to color all the pipes as well so that we have water being the light blue. We have heavy being that color and we will have the fuel colored here as well. Yep, those are the kind of things we need to do. We've also been setting up here all the residual, the resin coming out here, going all the way below. I really like the fact that we have like a, move, a space here for movement coming in consolidating with the same from the other side, getting in and just being thrown away. We have 53 available coupons. We're generating so much coupons because of uh, the way we've set up our hub. So that is pretty damn good. We set all of these up as well. You can see the first two or the technically the last two go to up all the way up. The next, these go to the up in the other side. This goes to the third floor and the next one goes to the second floor. And the last one goes to, well, I guess it's not the first floor. It's going to be the ground floor either way. And you can see here when it, when you look at the pipes, since we have a lot of pipes, then it makes it a lot easier to just to distinguish what's going on with these pipes. And that's why it's important to do this kind. It, it's one of those things. It's a small thing, but it adds a lot to the build as a, as a whole, I think, if uh, if doing stuff like this. So we, it's much easier to see what's going on and, and that these are actually fuel pipes and this is crude oil pi uh, pipes coming in. Cool. Let's uh, let's get all of it working. Uh, there is one thing that is, I don't really like about this build, and that's uh, from the outside. It it doesn't look good. We also need to get the water the fuel coming in here. Um, here, this side. I mean, I like it when it's built, but I don't really like this part. We're gonna have to do something on this side to make it look nice and function somehow. Maybe something like this. I like it. Uh, the, what we are doing here is uh, enforcing the triangular look. We can have this triangle in here. This is the open area where we have uh, the actual factory part. And then the outside here is where we have the actual fuel generation and the consumption part. So we now have sort of the inner triangle and the, then the outer triangle. We could also just make it all the way up, but it, I think it would actually look silly uh, from what, uh, what we're doing here. We're using the glass facade here. Uh, we are also just making... Uh, 
walkways, even though we will probably never be using the walkways, then I just feel that it completes the build in a nice way that we have. Can walk in here and we can go up, walk along the green triangle, walk up here and go all the way in and inspecting our, our power plant. And let's go all the way towards the end. I think it's easier if we use the jetpack. Jetpack moves, moves faster. And all of these, there's 17 on each row. And that's going to take... One of the things, it's, it's going to take forever to get this hooked up. Because it is using a manifold pattern. So it's always uh, going to take a long time to, to feed. Here on the other side, it's going to look slightly different. Because it is also the back side. But we still have the triangle. And then we have... Here we can open up and see the water flowing in. All in all, I think this is one of my uh, most aesthetic factories and I am super happy about it. If you're happy about it, if you like this build, you know what the like button is. That works uh, a good way of showing that you uh, also like this factory here. Uh, it is not working yet. So how about we hook it up and then actually get it working? This is a very nice, nice view to go here. And I will be hooking it up and then once we hook it up, we can actually just slowly see that it's coming online. And then we'll also need to wait for quite a while for it to actually uh, actually stabilize. So we built. The water is coming in. The only remaining thing that has to come in is the oil pipe. And we go up and we can then stand at this balcony inspecting our factory. Not much going on. They are huffing and puffing, they're pumping, but let's uh, just have a iteration of seeing things going through. If we go over to this side, again, we can use our catwalk here, or and we can see the resin that we're not going to be using is coming out. As soon as I'm hovering, I have longer range. And we are pushing this all the way down. Now, as we go down here, we haven't gotten enough oil pressure coming in. Uh, there is also the problem that if you have if you're running 100% capacity of the pipe, like the oil pipe, it's not really working very well, uh, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it's, it's not going to be 600 immediately coming in, but it it's going to get there. So you can see here the heavy oil residue is coming in, and we, of course, have uh, pre-filled it with water. So we get the heavy oil residue, and it starts working. We're going to go over on the side and see if we have, yeah, we do have just a little bit of fuel coming in here very low pressure but it's also because they need to spend some of it to filling up you can see ah it's going it's going it's filling up here is it coming up here yep and is it going out here not yet uh, it will work it will work damn well better work uh what we need to also be aware of is that some of these connections are not necessarily fully operational there we go that is pumping this is pumping and we get stuff out here let's see if we can get some there we go. First power plant is online. And we should now see the graph gradually see. This is what I was talking about. We have a very low production once we, once our uh, coal power plant shuts down because of the water bug, nuclear waste bug. And you can see that they gradually start uh, going it. So what I want to do now is uh, I need to let it run for a while so we can see that the whole thing can actually switch on. Uh, let's move on out and uh, what I think is the good way of doing it is to be able to see the whole network and that means by splitting the electric network so that we can over here we can turn on and off the power generation as we like from this location now every single one is hopping and popping and it's all online so let's go down here I have uh, set up this uh, control what it does is it separates all the production, all of our factory, including the production inside uh, for for this. And then we have only the production part out here. And let's see, if we look at it, it says production 19,999.7 megawatt. So this is a good opportunity for you to go to the comment section and complain that it's a clickbait title that is not 20 gigawatt. It's only 19,999.7 megawatts and it's it's a damn lie. So feel free, I'm just gonna hook it up and say that that's, uh, that's just a rounding error and I'll be super happy about it. So this is the power plant that we have built. And uh, as I said, it, it's an eight hour build. Um, it's, I think it's totally worth it. The only disadvantage of this build is that once built, 
we're never really going to come back to it because we don't really have a need to come back to it. it it's just here. Um, the good thing is it's 600, meg uh, 600 oil, so if I wanted to, I can build another one next to it. Uh, we know exactly how much space it's going to take, and we know exactly how to build it. Sure, it takes a lot, a lot of time. It's probably not going to take eight hours the next time. It's probably going to take like maybe four or five hours. Uh, in any case, I hope that you uh, liked it and uh, you find it interesting. We are going to go from here on in uh, this series. We're going to go into bigger builds because now we, that we have the power, now that we have every tech unlocked, we're going to get all the red late all of the remaining recipes and once we have all the remaining recipes we can build anything we like and that means we can go into mega base territory for as long as there is an interest so if you want to express your interest like share join the twitch chat that is a good way because i'm going to continue this as long as there is an interest for it thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it until next time take care and as always stay effective